everyone, Bishop Carl Kemi from the Diocese of Wichita. Glad to come to you once again by uh, means of the YouTube video to talk to you about uh, some current issues going on in the, uh, in the diocese and in the church. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And again, leave your comments or questions uh, after the video and we'll be sure to read them and, and perhaps address a, a topic or, or answer a question that you might have. Thanks for, for listening, thanks for viewing. So the value them both amendment, it's, uh, it, was a, it was a big loss for a pro-life movement here in the state of Kansas. Uh, uh, we who have been battling uh, for the rights of the unborn had high hopes that our state would uh, put on, uh, uh, on the ballot in August uh, a constitutional amendment stating you know, uh, that both the women and the unborn have, have, uh, have inalienable rights. We lost by four votes. Uh, it's really close, uh, which means that uh, we have to redouble our efforts to uh, address this, continually to address it. You know, we haven't lost hope uh, that we can regroup and maybe re-strategize and, and come at this, uh, at this issue again in the very near future. So I want to thank all the people who signed the petitions, who've been talking to their legislators, elected officials. Uh, throughout our diocese and in the whole state of Kansas. I want to thank you sincerely for, for your support uh, and for all that you've done to, to get us this far. We didn't win, but, uh, but we are still coming at this uh, with renewed uh, energy and, and uh, again, um, maybe a new strategy of how we can uh, address this in the very near future. Safe Haven Sunday, it's the, it's the re result of, uh, of our task force, our special task force that I called uh, uh, to, together a couple of years ago of uh, really uh, qualified and, and interested people in the diocese to help us address the scourge, the, really the epidemic of pornography that afflicts us in our, in our society. It's everywhere. Uh, and uh, so I uh, wanted us to, to really come up with ways that our families, our parents, our teachers, our pastors, uh, every person could could, could see this and, and do their part in helping people to be free of, the, uh, of, this, of this great problem. Uh, so Safe Haven Sunday is a, a Sunday that we're gonna bring, offer uh, some resources to the people who come to Mass. It's a, it's a nice little booklet uh, that just helps people to understand the problem and maybe give them some concrete ways to address it in their own lives personally. It's a very personal problem sometimes. Uh, but also in their families, so that our families and our homes are true safe havens for, from pornography. It's really a slavery, that uh, a modern day slavery, and we want to help. We know God gives us the grace to be freed from this, but we have to cooperate with that grace. So I really wanna see our diocese uh, work on this issue uh, so that we have more freedom uh, to live as God's uh, sons and daughters. The Man Fully Alive Conference, March 28th, uh, <clears throat> at Cape and Mount Carmel Catholic High School. Uh, this is uh, an annual men's conference. Uh, we're inviting uh, all the men of the diocese, uh, uh, fathers, grandfathers, husbands, sons, uh, grandsons, to come and spend the day together. We've got some really engaging speakers. You'll hear more about that in the future. Uh, it's a day we spend together as men. We're hoping for a, a, a thousand men and a hundred priests uh, just to come together and, and have this day to, to talk about our lives as men, to be fully alive as men in the faith and how men can be the great leaders of our families and our culture and our church. Uh, so I invite all the men who are listening to uh, consider spending the day with us. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's a, it's a great day and I look forward to seeing you there. The Lenten season is about to begin uh, in about a week and a half, Ash Wednesday. Uh, so this, we'll have more to say again about Lent, but I just want to invite our people uh, to uh, consider how they're going to spend the season of Lent, uh, to prepare for that uh, by thinking about their prayer life and their, and their faith life and, and participation in the sacraments, particularly uh, the sacrament of confession uh, and the holy sacrifice of the Mass, adoration. These are wonderful opportunities for us. The Lenten season is a gift, and how wonderful it would be for us if we, if we use this time well to grow in our faith, to really become fully alive 
uh, as missionary disciples of Jesus Christ. So uh, Lent is around the corner, so look forward to spending Lent together. Thank you. God bless you, everyone, and have a wonderful day.